generic mods for Minecraft 1.19.3. Let's go ahead and get them installed. Now, of course, in order to get fabric mods, you're gonna need the fabric mod loader. And in the description down below, specifically this second link in the description down below, you will find this, which is our in-depth guide on getting the fabric mod loader. We're gonna be going through the basics in this video, but there's also this in-depth text guide here that if you do need help and wanna take things more of at your own pace, you can do so with this guide. Once you're here, though, go ahead and click the yellow download fabric button to be taken to the official fabric download page. On this page, go ahead and click on the download universal jar here. The reason we're doing that instead of the download for Windows link is because if you download with the universal jar and install it via that process, other mod loaders such as Forge will work for you as well as starting a Minecraft server and things like that. Now let's go ahead and download some mods. Now we're gonna be installing a few mods in this. One is actually the fabric API. This isn't a mod in and of itself, but it is required for a lot of fabric mods, so we're going to install it. Of course, this and all the other mods are linked in the description down below, and when you go down there, it'll take you to our website, where you can click the download button for each mod to go to the mod's official download page. For the fabric API, let's look at the right-hand side and scroll down to the Minecraft 119 section and download the 1.19.3 version right there. Now, while that's downloading, how about a our sponsor, Apex Minecraft Hosting? Go to the first link in the description down below the breakdown.xyz slash Apex to start your very own Minecraft server. You can add fabric mods to your server. You can add forge mods. You can add entire mod packs with just one click. You can also add plugins and anything else you want. We actually love just Apex so much. We host every single Minecraft server we have on Apex Minecraft Hosting. So if you want to start your own server, look no further than Apex Minecraft Hosting at the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash Apex. Now, as you can see, fabric is downloaded, specifically fabric API is downloaded, you may need to keep this as well as any other files we download in the bottom of your Google Chrome or save them in the server screen on Firefox. Another mod we're going to install is Spark. This is a bit of an underrated Minecraft mod in my opinion. It actually allows you to figure out why Minecraft may be lagging by looking at how RAM usage and CPU usage and things like that are done in game. Same thing as before, when it comes to the right hand side and scroll down, except the 1.19.2 fabric version actually works in 1.19.3. So we're gonna be downloading the 1.19.2 version of fabric. A word of caution with doing that though. While it does work with some mods, with others it doesn't. For example, another mod I was going to install in this video I actually had to cut because it didn't work in 1.19.3 with the 1.19.2 version. So keep that in mind if something does break, if you install a mod and it doesn't work and it's for the previous version, that's why you're gonna have to unfortunately wait until it updates. Sodium is one of the most popular fabric mods out there. Same thing, click the download button on our website, but this does have a 1.19.3 version. You wouldn't know that except for the fact that this came out after 1.19.3 was released. That's kind of the only indication. So click the download button there. The download will then begin after a few seconds. And at this point, all of these are downloaded. Let's go ahead and move them all to our desktop. To do that, they're in your downloads folder, most likely, by the way. We're gonna click the little Windows icon on the top left of my screen, probably in the bottom left of your screen or bottom center of your screen on Windows 11. And then go ahead and type in downloads. Now, I don't have a downloads folder here, don't know why, normally I do, but for some reason it's just not showing up today. So we're gonna click on File Explorer, and then we wanna come under this PC. By clicking the little drop down arrow there, we will be able to see that there is a downloads folder, and in here is Sodium, Spark, Fabric API, and the Fabric Installer. I'm gonna drag all of these to our desktop just for ease of use. Nevertheless, with all these on our desktop, we have Spark, we have Sodium, we have the Fabric API, and the Fabric Installer. We're actually gonna start off with the Fabric Installer. So go ahead and right click on it, click on Open With, click Java, and click OK. But Nick, I don't have Java here, or these icons don't look correct for me. Well, in either of those cases, you need to download and install Java 17. Java 17 is required for Minecraft 1.19.3 mods, as well as servers and all that stuff. So it's very, very nice to just have this. Luckily, we have a complete guide in the description down below on how to get Java for Minecraft mods and servers, specifically Java 17. It goes through it all super in depth. Now, after you get Java 17, you may need to run the jar fix. This is going to take all the jar files on your computer and link them back to Java, making them work happily together. This is also what's going to fix that icon issue if you do have it. So download Java first, then run the jar fix, and then you should be able to right click on the fabric installer click on open with, click Java, and click OK. That's gonna open up the fabric installer where we wanna make sure the 1.19.3 version is selected. We also wanna make sure the create profile checkbox is checked and then click install. Relatively quickly, it's gonna come up and say successfully installed fabric loader. Click OK and we can close out of the fabric installer. We can also delete it from our desktop. Now let's go ahead and get these mods installed. To do that, you wanna go ahead and open up the Minecraft launcher here and you should have a fabric profile now. If you don't have a fabric profile, I will show you how to create one, but if you do, it's super easy to see. 
it's most likely already selected. If it's not, you can click this little arrow here and see it in this menu. However, no matter what, we actually need to click on installations at the top. Now, if you don't have a fabric loader mod installation here, go ahead and make sure modded is checked. As you can see, we check modded, there it is. If you still don't have a fabric loader installation, click on new installations. We can name this anything, but I'm gonna name it fabric 1.19.3. And then I'm gonna change the icon. Did you know you can do this? It's kinda cool, change it to glass. Now, the most important part of this is we wanna select the version dropdown box and we wanna choose fabric loader 1.19.3 right here. Now the version number in the middle might be this different, but we wanna make sure it's fabric loader at the beginning and 1.19.3 at the end, right like that. We can also change the resolution if we want. We don't have to do that, but we can if we want to. And now we can click create. So now we have this Fabric 1.19.3 profile with Fabric Loader under it. Now, in order to install your mods, we actually want to hover over either the Fabric 1 profile you created or the one that's there by default and click on the folder icon. That's going to open up our .minecraft folder where you should have a mods folder. But Nick, I don't have a mods folder. Well, neither do I. And if you don't have one either, just right click and create a new folder and title that folder mods, M-O-D-S, all lowercase, exactly like that. Open up your mods folder, and now all we need to do to install our mods is drag and drop them into the mods folder, right like so. It's that easy. Now when we come back to the Minecraft launcher, we want to go ahead and click play, either on the fabric loader that was there by default, or the one that we created. Then click play again to confirm you're playing mod in Minecraft, and now Minecraft 1.19.3 is going to open up with your fabric mods installed. So here we are in Minecraft. Unfortunately, there's no way to see like the mods button in fabric. Forge has a mods area. Fabric doesn't. However, in the bottom left, we can see that it does say Fabric, showing that the Fabric Mod Loader is installed. And if we go to Options, Video Settings, we'll quickly see that this is, in fact, Sodium. As far as Spark goes, it's a little bit more nuanced, so we will need to go into a world here. And then once we're in a world, we can actually run a profile. So we want to do slash Spark and then Profiler dash dash Start. What this is going to do is run a profile of Minecraft as we're playing. So I'm going to sit here a minute or two, and then we'll stop this. I'll show you what it looks like, and, in fact, Spark will have worked and we'll be good to go. So now we can go ahead and run slash spark profiler dash dash stop. And when we do that, it will spit out a link. This link will then show us basically everything that's going on with our Minecraft game, right? So if we paste this in here, we'll be able to see this is everything that's going on with the game. We've got the TPS, which is kind of like the ticks per second, Minecraft lagging or not, the CPU usage, the RAM usage, all of that stuff. But we can also on the bottom click through here and see individual things that are using processing power on our computer. And uh, yeah, you can actually find laggy mods, things like that using this method. So there you have it. That is how you can install Fabric Mods in Minecraft 1.19.3. If you've got any questions, let us know in the comment section down below. And be sure to check out the video on your screen right now, which is how to get Irish shaders in Minecraft 1.19.3, which is a great shaders mod that actually uses Sodium, one of the mods that we installed here in order to run and run shaders at better performance than Optifine. So check out that video if you want to get shaders with better performance than Optifine using Iris. Anyway, thanks for watching. Give it a thumbs up. See you in the next video. Peace.